Hey everyone, Time to share from me, same let's work once more. Maggie A, 1 vs 1, Dawn of Soul Storm replay on the um, moon base map. So we'll be having uh, Nature's Prophet as the Impure Guard and Willop as the Space Marines. So yes, according to the comments, um, by the uploader it had an unexpected result, so hopefully we should be in for one hell of a game. In case, have a look at the uh, starting builds of these two guys. We've got a pretty standard build for Nature's Prophet. Fast Infantry Command with a, a couple of Guardsmen coming out, two builders already, and yeah, similar thing for Willop, he's got an early barracks coming up, and yeah, it looks like the first squad to come out will be the uh, Space Marines. And okay, he's got a third Scout Marine squad coming out as well. And as for Nature's Prophet, yeah, he's just got a fancy Command squad coming out, so yeah, pretty standard, that's fine, of course, the Plasma Generator as well, so not really seeing too much when it comes to um, deviation or anything like that. Although, I've just noticed though, okay. Nature's Prophet does have quite a few resources saved up. Huh, given that he's going for a second plasma generator so early. That's interesting. I wonder if maybe he's going to go for an early tier 2 or something like that. In any case, his command squad's out. Adding the priest in. Uh, yeah, they're going to be facing up against the Special Marines. So, yes, um, going to make things a bit tricky for um, Willop. Given he doesn't really have um, any melee troops, like, you know, Commander, for example, to deal with this command squad, but, uh, oh well, what can you do? He's got a second Space Marine squad coming out, in fact. So I guess he should be alright uh, in being able to kite this command squad once the second Space Marine squad comes out, but of course we still have the uh, Guardsman squads and all that to worry about as well. And there you go, here comes the second squad from Willop, and provided those markers good, he should. Big kite. Well, not kiting, we're just dancing around these troops, so we're basically firing at them while uh, treating one squad at the same time. Willop's not going for a force commander of his own, and Nature's Prophet is. yeah, just building up his uh, strategic points, and wow, very nice actually. Even decapturing uh, one of the strategic points from Nature's Prophet, that's you know, didn't see too often for a Space Marine commander to do to the Imperial Guard and this early on in the game, given that the command squad is usually. Um, Bit of a pain in the ass. It's an interesting um, deviation though. We've got Nature's Prophet actually going for a third priest instead of a um, psycho. Huh. I don't know if I really agree with that though. Normally they'd want to go with a psycho, you know, to help balance out the command squad and also to use their uh, special abilities. But yeah, whatever is not going to do that. And yeah, Willop is also going to be sending in his uh, force commander as well. And yeah, I mean, one good thing that um, psychos would especially be able to do would be, of course, um, would be, um, what's that ability called? I think it's called Strip Soul or something like that. Um, yeah, we should be able to use that ability. It's a pretty good effect against single units like the uh, Force Commander. And yeah, it looks like Willop might be in a bit of trouble actually. He's got two priests out, his main guy has actually gone down. And we do have the Force Commander coming out sometime soon as well. There we go, he's coming out pretty soon as well. And yeah, just quite a bit of combat in general. These guys, I suppose, these, this command squad has managed to um, harass Willop a bit, but he's also stuff, suffered a few um, casualties as well. And yeah, actually, it's possible that the reason he might have gone for a third priest is that he anticipates one of these priests is going to die, perhaps, and he's going to then go for a um, psycho. Huh, I suppose it's possible. In any case, here comes the Force Commander, and yeah, as you can see, he's, uh, well, he's actually taking a bit of damage from those priests. Down goes one, there, there goes the second one, and the uh, third guy is just getting tossed about. So yeah, there goes the um, harassment opportunity, at least for the time being, for um, Nature's Prophets. Anyway, let's just have a look. He's not going for Tier 2 or anything like that, although he'll probably want to go for Tier 2 soon. Presumably, I mean, his resources are certainly up there, he's not spending it on troops or anything like that, he's being forced back at the same time. And there we go, he's going for tier 2 finally. As for Willop, he's still at tier 1, I don't see any armour or anything like that. Wait a minute. Okay, wow, he's actually gone without a plasma generator this entire time, so he's really stayed in tier 1 for quite some time, actually. Will he be able to make it count, though? That's a question. Because, uh, did he manage to do a bit of damage, I suppose, to Imperial Guard player? I will walk from here. Really. Indeed, but anyway. Um, hmm, should be interesting indeed. So yeah, will Willop push his attack? Yep, looks like he will, although he's going to be a bit... Um, might be a bit short change though by his troops, so given that uh, he's still tier 1, doesn't even have an armory up. Building a second plasma generator, fi finally. 
That's supposed to be able to do a bit of damage. Probably be better off going for listening posts rather than the uh, infantry commands. But what the hell? And here we go. Got the first commissar coming out for Nature's Prophets. Given that he's attached, I'm guessing he's just going to be using him for uh, a bit of melee support. And yeah, Nature's Prophet does have a bit of time though. It's upgraded to tier two, so if Willop is going to um, make anything happen, he'll have to do it now. But it doesn't look like he's going to make too much happen. And here we go. We still got Nature's Prophet not getting a third team member. Huh. After getting that third priest, he just decided that's it. <laughs> and there we go, finally fortifying the infantry command. Supporting Ter Priest, I don't think Willop can do too much about that. Hmm. Interesting. And there we go. Got tier 2 for uh, Nature's Prophet. Not really seeing a tactic anyway. He's going to want to build that soon, unless he's going some other sort of builds. And Esau Willop is finally going for tier 2, but yeah, he's going to be the far behind. We'll just check the um, economies of both players. We've got 86 and 30 for Pure Guard, and 86 and 30 for the Space Marine. So all, for all of his posturing, he's still. Willop is still on par when it comes to economy compared to Nature's Prophet, but of course, Nature's Prophet is already at tier 2 while Willop isn't. So let's have a look. What is Willop going to? Oh, sorry, Nature's Prophet going to do? He's going to go for vehicle command at the same time. Though he's actually going to suffer a bit of an attack on one of his listening posts. Very brash attack indeed by Willop. Actually, even sending in a skull probe. I think just to, I don't know. I think to disable any vehicles. No, I guess not. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but yeah, amazing. Just sending the force command just like that. God damn. And yeah, listening post is still remaining, and yeah, the Willop has suffered quite a bit of damage to Force Commander. It's too bad. Ah, there we go. Nature's Prophet finally adding in the uh, Psyker units. And yeah, I mean, one single strip soul. Well, actually, maybe a couple. They should be able to kill off the um, Force Commander there. But uh, yeah, definitely missed out on his opportunity to be able to do that. And yeah, now the Force Commander will be able to provide quite a bit of fire support along with the rest of his Space Marines. At the same time, though, Nature's Prophet does have the um, Commissar out with the executability being used on the Guardsmen to be able to. Get a bit more um, fire damage, and yeah, he is most likely going to be bringing out vehicles at some point as well. Although, yeah, his command squad is certainly suffering quite a few maybe damages. Interesting. In fact, we actually had Willop going into Maleev, and then yeah, we go. He's finally at tier two. Doesn't have the armory quite yet, but um, yeah, it looks like he's just going, going to be going with a uh, sergeant's just for added firepower and a bit of extra health, I suppose. So is he going to go straight for a vehicle or... Okay, what do you know? Willop is also going straight for vehicles. <laughs> that should be interesting. And Nature's Prophet, yeah, he's got his own Hellhound out. Building second Hellhound, so yeah, he might be able to do quite a bit of damage actually before um, Willop can actually get... Uh, presumably before he can get his um, thing imaging out, his uh, land speed of Tempest. So if he can get that out with a missile or two, he should be able to take out these Hellhounds with relative ease. At least until the command squad comes out and cause casts the uh, Cursed Machine Spirit ability on it, which is a bit of pain in the ass, but oh well. Wow, very bash move by Willop indeed. He's going into melee against the Hellhounds. Wow. Well, he might be able to destroy it, but I'm not really seeing him build a l building a land speed or tempest or like that. But the problem is, yeah, this um, Hellhound should be able to do quite a bit of damage. There's a second one coming out. Command squad's still out, and. Here we go, here comes another Hellhound, dude. Wow. So yeah, I dare say Willop is probably in a bit of trouble. Um, nice choice of vehicles of an Nature's Prophet. Just as w it's just as well that Sam Willop didn't go for a uh, an armory or anything like that. In fact, he's actually going for vehicle cap increase, which might imply he's actually going for a Dreadnought, which I wouldn't say is really the ideal thing to have here. I mean, a melee vehicle... I will do as you ask. I mean, that would be kite it's a bit... well... With relative ease, really, I mean, especially once this uh, Psyker is added on and, uh, yeah, they c cast that damn uh, Cursed Machine Spirit ability on it, but oh well. And yeah, it looks like uh, Nature's Prophet is just going for more and more Hellhounds, actually. He's got four... I don't know if there's a fifth one I'm missing somewhere. Nope. So yeah, it does actually have four out. Managed to... Okay, never mind. Nature's Prophet hasn't quite secured the mill just yet. He'd want to decap that at some point. There, but which doesn't look like it's going to do. And what do you know? We've got a Dreadnought coming out for Willop. So maybe this is going to be the unexpected thing that um, Uploader was referring to, although... I don't know, I don't really see how a Dreadnought's going to be able to make a, that much of a difference. I mean, especially with so many of these Hellhounds out. I mean, all you have to do is just retreat one Hellhound that's being attacked by the uh, 
Dreadnoughts while the other ones can uh, yeah keep doing their damage. Although interestingly enough, Nitrous Prophet doesn't have too much when it comes to anti-vehicle um, weaponry of uh, weapons of his own, but uh, well, I guess he doesn't really need it at the moment. So the Dreadnoughts not really doing too much, and uh, yeah, looks like Willips Gambits there seems to have failed. So interesting build by Nitrous Prophet. You wouldn't normally see so many Hellhounds being deployed at once, but um, there you go. Certainly capitalizing on the lack of uh, anti-vehicle weapons for uh, Willop. He's finally got a, the armory up, so he does have a couple of guys with um, rocket launchers, but really I think it's just a matter of too little too late now. So we've also got the Sentinel coming out. We'll be able to kite and destroy the Dreadnought pretty easily. So I don't know what exactly was Sun expected from this game, except maybe for the fact that Nature's Prophet went for um, multiple Hellhounds, and Willop, of course, didn't go for a, a solid anti-vehicle counter there. So a bit of... Um, more decision making on Willip's account, but um, oh, what the hell, it's such a shabby game in any case. It's kind of hoping for something a bit more unexpected, but uh, oh well. And there goes Willip, so interesting game there indeed. So yeah, I hope we should be able to upload this a bit later on today, and until that happens, this has been Dame to the Vich, signing off.